The backlash on ESG over the recent years has Larry Fink of BlackRock actually nervous and backpedaling on his massive push to get every corporation on the ESG model by the end of this year. Just a few days ago, Axios reported that Larry Fink is ashamed to be a part of the ESG political debate, which is laughable considering he is the primary force behind it. So how did we get here? Here's Larry Fink back in 2018 saying, within the next five years, all investors will measure a company's impact on society, government, and the environment to determine its worth, aka the ESG model. In another article, he went even further saying, contribute to society or lose BlackRock's investment, which is insane, clearly. No wonder why so many CEOs in the corporate world seem like activists today because they are actually run by an activist organization. Just when ESG seemed to be at an all-time high in late 2022, DeSantis decided to yank billions in investments from woke BlackRock over ESG investing. Don't get me wrong, I still am very uncertain about DeSantis, but whenever someone does something so positive, gotta tip your hat to them. Since late 2022, look at how many other states have also fallen suit with Florida and pushed back on the woke ESG agenda. That being said, Fink did backtrack later on in the conversation and he corrected himself by saying, I never said I was ashamed, even though he did, but he tried correcting the record by saying, I'm not ashamed, I do believe in conscientious capitalism. He is going to rely on the mainstream media and the gullibility of the populace to fall for this rebranding of ESG to conscientious capitalism. Do not fall for it. I will leave you with this clip from Larry Fink from several years ago in where he describes his dream government. Uh, uncertainty. Markets don't like uncertainty. Markets like actually totalitarian governments where you have a uh, understanding of what's out there and obviously we're uh, the whole dimension is changing now with uh, as you said a democratization of uh, of countries and and democracies are very messy as we know in the United States. Of course if you've been tracking a lot of his investments into China this makes complete sense. And that's today's news in a nutshell. Please like and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Peace.